Bill Cosby's reputation continues to unravel as more abuse allegations surface, but he returned to the stage last night to a packed house. A standing ovation for Bill Cosby after his comedy routine at the Atlantis Resort in Nassau. His first performance since sex assault and rape allegations made by several women recently resurfaced. The comedian made no mention of the allegations, and in an interesting twist, the show was part of a benefit for a women's service organization. Among the 77-year-old comedian's latest accuser is actress Louisa Moritz. She claims Cosby forced her to perform sex acts in her dressing room during an appearance on Johnny Carson's Tonight Show in 1971. Incredible Hulk star Lou Ferrigno's wife Carla, a former Playboy bunny, also saying Cosby once manhandled her in the late 60s, kissing her, quote, forcefully. Meanwhile, TMZ has obtained Polaroids that model Janice Dickinson took of Cosby just before he allegedly date raped her. Cosby's lawyer is blasting all new allegations, calling them, quote, utter nonsense. The comedian has never been charged with the alleged crimes. The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 about to set fire to the box office with its help of the A-list cast. intensity and, and the bleakness and now it's about a rebellion, it's about people, you know, trying to change the world. The movie has changed so much, but also it's got that same heart and soul that the first one originally had. It's also a very important story to tell about how powerful just one voice can be. That voice is made all more powerful by Jennifer Lawrence's fearless portrayal of Katniss Everdeen. PETA is the capital's weapon. Jen's obviously an extraordinary actress, and I love what she does with the character. You will rescue PETA at the earliest opportunity, or you will find another Mockingjay. She has a quality that is pretty extraordinary. We kind of have a, a bond thing a lot of people can't relate to because of just the things we've been through together. Um, so coming to work with, with her and Josh was, you know, it's, it's a blessing. supposed to rebuild the Mohawk Nation if all the guys around here are cousins. Meet the Mohawk Girls, four young women dealing with life and love on the res. Entertainment City caught up with the leading ladies of this brand new original series that's filmed in Montreal and the Kahnawake Reserve in Quebec. We're kind of like Sex in the City, but like res style. Really what they're going through is quite universal. I mean, being a woman is being a woman, but they come from a very particular place. A white guy. He's old and smushy. Definitely couldn't kill a bear. It's just really personal being able to shoot in our own communities. I think Canadians need context on who we are, where we're coming from, and I that's, that's the goal of the show. What do they think they're from Sex in the City? Catch the series premiere of Mohawk Girls Sunday on Omni One. of breakfast television turned into a dance floor as Nick Cannon's guy group Four Count busted a move and performed their new track, All the Right Pieces. The four guys are from the States, but they've been developing their sound and style here after Nick Cannon put them together. Ben, Aaron, and brothers Adam and Kieran have been meeting fans across Canada. We're loving Canada. All the people up here have been more than supportive. Canada fans, they show mad love, and that's why we like it out here. That's why we're going to be staying out here for a while. Four Count's self-titled debut album is out now, and their reality TV series Mission Four Count airs on YTV.